Hello and welcome to my second presentation video on AUM MIDI Mixer. Now this video covers advanced topics, so if you haven't seen my previous preview video, I suggest you go away and watch that one first. But in this video I want to go over some advanced features, being able to re re uh, remote control using two iPads, and some of the features that have been added since the first release. So let's begin by taking a look at how we remote control one iPad from a second iPad using Bluetooth MIDI. And as you can see here, I have two iPads. Uh, the one on the left is a master iPad and the one on the right has my um, MIDI mixer. And as you can see here, we're hitting snapshots and it's controlling uh, the master uh, iPad from the remote. So how do we do that? How do we go about doing that? I'm going to describe that whole process uh, to you right now and how to set that up. So the first thing we have to do is connect the two iPads via Bluetooth. And to do that, you just need to head off to AUM's uh, settings. And in there, you'll see a peripheral option. And if we select that, you can see that there's an option to advertise your, your uh, device uh, over Bluetooth. Now, if this is the first time you've completed this, you'll be asked to connect to the remote device. Um, because I've already done this before, I can just hit the connect and job done. Once we have the two devices connected via Bluetooth, we need to head off to the MIDI routing section and ensure that Bluetooth MIDI is connected to the remote, the MIDI remote of AUM. Now we're talking about the slave device here, the, the device we wanted to control. Now I'm going to switch to the second iPad, the one that I want to be my master remote control running the uh, instance of MIDI mixer that controls everything. I'm going to go into the routing section and I'm going to ensure that the MIDI routing is set up so that incoming MIDI Bluetooth MIDI data is passed on to MIDI Mixer, the second version of MIDI Mixer. So just make sure you've got your setup like that. And everything, if you've done everything right, it should just work. So if you've got a second iPad kicking around doing nothing, uh, why not use it as a remote control for AUM? Now one of the great features of AUM MIDI Mixer is the ability to actually capture snapshots and be able to replay those snapshots at the press of a button so we can get smooth fades from one snapshot to the other. Uh, in this next version we've added a, a lot lengthier snapshots so all those people that want uh, really really slow snapshots you've got it. Now in the previous video I talked about this uh, user control lane which was something that was accessible from the MIDI editor which allowed us to uh, paste CC values and those CC values could be used to uh, change pattern on something like DigiSticks or DigiKeys. Um, but we only had one user lane. So fast forward to version 1.01 and you'll see that we now have three user lanes to use. And whilst in the previous version this uh, user lane was not backed up by any physical knobs on the interface, we've now added a more convenient way to uh, record automation using a set of knobs. Now, the way we get to those is using the uh, mixer layout menu. Now, to display this menu, just tap and hold on the menu button itself, and you'll get three options. Now, I've selected the second option from that menu, which displays the user 1, 2, and 3 knobs, which can be used for inputting automation. Um, it's probably easier doing this than actually editing on the graph. Now the third option just uh, shows you long faders instead of the default layout. Now although AUM MIDI Mixer uses the default values that AUM sets up for controllers, um, there might be times when you need to change that and now we have a MIDI settings dialog that allows you to configure these controllers how you wish. There's also a quick settings button that allows you to switch between two sets of controllers and this is useful if you want to host two different MIDI mixers within the same AUM session. Now you can also tap on these three buttons under the user 1, 2 and 3 knobs and configure them with a more user friendly name which will be displayed throughout the um, MIDI uh, mixer uh, interface. So if you um, label these up, don't forget to press save to save those settings. 
and they will be reflected both in the editor as you can see here and they'll also be displayed within the uh, second MIDI layout which displays the user knobs 1, 2 and 3. Now if we quickly pop back into MIDI settings here you'll notice on the top right there's a channel uh, label tap option. Now when this option is enabled any taps on the MIDI channel uh, label will send a MIDI note number to AUM which can be used to do a number of things including uh, showing and hiding the actual effects attached to each of the channel strips. Now this is something you have to manually set up, but as you can see here in channel 1 I have a copy of Bleas Delay. And if I go into the parameters for that uh, delay, uh, we can change the show plugin options here and make them react to the same note number I set up in the settings within uh, AUM Mixer. Now all we do is tap on the, uh, on the channel 1's label to show and hide the uh, plugin. Now the final thing I want to mention here is the fact that uh, if you run MIDI Mixer in standalone mode uh, there is an option displayed which will allow us to uh, load one of the default AUM MIDI sessions that we ship with. And there's now a new one which allows us to configure AUM for 24 channels. Now if you examine this session you'll see that we actually have two instances of MIDI Mixer handling 12 channels apiece. Now the great thing about this is it makes it a little bit more manageable and you could for instance have uh, 12 outputs from say a drum machine going into one mixer and then the other instruments going into the other mixer and these can work independently of each other. So that just about covers all the new features. This version should be available very soon. But for now, thank you for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to thumbs up, uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.